Today, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing this hot cocoa gift box. This was sent to us from Jamesha in California. She bought this at DD's clothing store for $5.99. So you get 12 flavors for $5.99. This is actually made by uh, Two Rivers Coffee in New Jersey. And it came out for the holiday. It's a holiday gift box. Uh, but I think it's awesome that Jamesha got it for $5.99 because this box of hot cocos is still good until 2024. So this is one of those things that if you can find it after the holiday season, don't be afraid to buy it because just because the holiday's over, this is still going to be good for a long time. So I have changed the order of the things in the box, but I'll tell you everything that's in there. We have Brooklyn Bean Hot Cocoa Milk Chocolate, Tootsie Roll Hot Cocoa, uh, they're all hot cocoa, so I'll quit saying that, um, Soho uh, Dark Passion, Charleston Chew Vanilla Nougat, Brooklyn Bean Hot Cocoa, this is a peanut butter cup, and then we have a mint chocolate cookie Brooklyn uh, Bean, and then we have Junior Mints. Cocoa Claws is a chocolate covered strawberry. Then we have Sugar Babies. Bosco is a butterscotch. Vander, Vanderlaan is a vanilla caramel cream. And then we have another Bosco that is a salted caramel. So I have, like I said, I rearranged everything in the box. If you want to see the order it was in the box, then at the end of the video, there will be a picture. But I put them in groups of four that we'll be trying them in. So the first four we're going to be trying is the, um, the, this, these four at the top. And it's just a K cup. So you, we're not going to add any sweetener or anything else to it. We're just going to make them in the K cup like you would a cup of coffee, except minus cream or creamer or sweetener. So like I said, this is a holiday gift box. It says, assorted hot cocoa joined together with family and friends this holiday season over a mug of delicious, rich, and creamy hot cocoa. This assorted gift box is fabulous for entertaining and makes for a great gift. Enjoy a variety of flavors made from premium cocoa all season long. So the first one we're gonna try is the Dark Passion. This is Soho Cocoa and it is 70 calories. I added eight ounces, because that's what the serving size was. It didn't specifically say eight ounces, but eight ounces is pretty typical for hot cocoa anyway, so that's, um, that's what I did. Yes. And this one is called Dark Passion. Hmm. But it's dark chocolate. You know, it does have a lot of flavor for being dark chocolate, doesn't it? It reminds me very, very much of uh, Tootsie Roll, which is funny I'm saying that because yeah. in just a minute, we're going to be trying a Tootsie Roll. It's not as strong, though. No. The flavors aren't nearly as strong as like that Tootsie Roll chocolate. Or no. Any, or any chocolate. And this is <laughs> specifically called Dark Passion. It's supposed to be dark chocolate. It doesn't taste like dark chocolate. No. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not horrible. It just doesn't have the flavor of like a, uh, what's the Swissness or any of those packets. Right. Yeah. It, um, it, it's not bad. No. It just, it, there's no depth to it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the next one is Brooklyn hot cocoa and this is a milk chocolate and go ahead and take it drink. Let me find the calories for this one. Uh, let's see. They're all over the back of the box, so you have to find it. Oh, milk chocolate is 70 calories. They're all either 60 or 70. That one's better. That one's much better. Yeah. It's sweeter, too. It's sweeter, and it's got more of a, I won't say rich, creamy chocolate, but it definitely has a chocolate flavor. Right, it's more like a true chocolate yeah. than the first one was. Yeah. The first one was, um, uh, it did taste more like a, a cocoa, a, a darker cocoa, and you really can tell the difference between oh, yeah. the two. Yeah, but I think the chocolate one just had more flavor too. Yes, it's, it's sweeter, has a much, much better flavor. So now we're going to try the Tootsie Roll Premium Hot Cocoa. Um, it's creamy hot chocolate but it's the Tootsie Roll brand. Okay. Mm. 
that doesn't taste like a Tootsie Roll, but it's not very good either. Way. No, I don't think it's good either. No. It, and it's, well, a Tootsie Roll pretty artificial anyway. That tastes even more artificial than an actual Tootsie Roll. I agree. The, uh, we've seen whole boxes of that, where they're selling whole boxes of hot cocoa labeled Tootsie Roll. I'm so glad we didn't buy it. No, uh, because, it's not very good. Uh, no, it's not good. As a matter of fact, I would put it in last place. I would put it behind the dark passion. Yeah, it, it's super artificial. It doesn't have a really good chocolate flavor at all. It's just, it's not very good. <laughs> it, uh, there is sweetness to it, but yeah. the, the flavor of the actual chocolate, the part that's supposed to be really good, it's just not good. It's just, it tastes really, really cheap. Yeah, it does. Okay, so. This is the Charleston Chew um, Vanilla Cupcake? No, I'm Vanilla Nougat. I'm vanilla excited nougat. about this because it has vanilla in it. Yeah. Definitely a different flavor. Oh, now see. I don't know if I like that or not. I do. That's like a dessert. It is very sweet seeming. It's very, very sweet. It almost, it, it's a really artificial vanilla though. It, it reminds me of a, um, like a, when you get a Tootsie Roll with a vanilla flavoring so they with have the white ones the white ones yes with the vanilla flavor that's what that reminds me i could of. see that well charleston mm -hmm. chews are kind of like that anyway they have the chocolate and the vanilla like center mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure that's a charleston chew i haven't had one in and a while a so time. i just don't remember what it seemed it's like, like they had a, uh, some kind of white filling or something right like that. um it's okay it's very artificial i mean super artificial vanilla for me um it's not it's like almost chemical yeah, see, it's not like that for uh, me at all. To me, it's just a very, very sweet vanilla, but it's like a candy vanilla. Yeah. Uh, so, and but I'm used to drinking flavored coffee. That's true. So I really appreciate that. So out of these four, for me, favorite. that is the clear winner. Uh, that that one, one, and then the milk chocolate. That definitely has the most flavor. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would, I would definitely choose it over the Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. And the first one just didn't really have much flavor. It wasn't a, that it was bad. It just didn't have a lot. Right. So, the Tootsie Roll is actually bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never want to drink that again. But uh, I agree. The milk chocolate is probably my favorite. And then the, the Charleston Chew would be number two. Right. So now we're going to be trying the, this is Brooklyn Bean Hot Cocoa. This is Peanut Butter Cup. And then I have one called Cocoa Claws, which is chocolate covered strawberry. And then I have Junior Mint Hot Cocoa. And this one is the Brooklyn uh, Mint Chocolate Cookie. So, Peanut Butter Cup. Here we go. Made this batch the same way too, eight ounces. It's light. Hmm. It's a. I do get the peanut butter. I don't get peanut butter. It almost tastes like a hazelnut. So See, maybe it's just nutty. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it has a nutty flavor. It's not like overwhelmingly uh, peanut butter. But it no. does, it, t it tastes more, I like Kevin's more nutty. It tastes yeah. like nutty and chocolate. Yeah, insert your nut there. Because it kind of yeah. tastes like hazelnut to me. You right. say it kind of tastes like peanut to you. It could, yeah. be, you know, could be cashew to you. You know, it's, just, it's right. kind of nutty. But it's supposed to be a peanut butter cup. I wouldn't say it's overwhelmingly sweet, mm -hmm. but I do think it is, it's a nice light flavor. Yeah, it's nice. And you really don't get a really strong chocolate flavor either. But no. it's still... It's a nice flavor. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely wouldn't turn it down. Right. Uh, this one is the Cocoa Claws, which is chocolate covered strawberry. I was worried about that one because it smells like a strawberry lip gloss, and and it does taste like it a little bit. But it's actually not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. It's got a good, strong, strong flavor, but it's not overpoweringly fakey strawberry or anything like that. No, it, it, it does kind of remind me of strawberry lip gloss. But like I said, not bad. It's a good combination with the chocolate. No. It's not like a candy strawberry. Mm -hmm. No, not uh, fresh strawberry either. <laughs> right. But it is lighter, just like the first one. It is, it is a lighter uh, chocolate. You mainly do get the strawberry. Right. Right. So this is the Junior Mint Hot Cocoa. Go ahead. Oh. And I love Junior Mints. Yeah, I'm wondering what the difference between that one and this mint cookie is going to be. Oh. 
I kind of swirl it a little bit because you get that little bit of um, chocolate cells on the bottom. You do, even though I did stir them, so you if know. If they sit for more than ten seconds. Yeah, then that the chocolate does tend to settle. That I I really like that. See what smells just like a junior mint. Yeah, it it is a little bit breath freshening. Yeah, too it, it is a little bit too pasty. You know what, junior mints are kind of like that anyway. Yeah, but I really like that. No, that's probably my favorite one we've tried so far. Yeah, and mine too. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Because so, this is a mint chocolate cookie. This is the Brooklyn Bean Hot Cocoa. I get the mint, but I also get, at first I thought, oh, this is a, a darker chocolate. I think that's what they're meaning the cookie to be. I mm -hmm. think it's a little bit like a, it kind of has like a bitterness from from like you would get from like an Oreo cookie, the the actual hard cookie yeah, part. Yeah, um, I agree. Those are my favorite ones though. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. No, I uh, like them. There is a difference though between the two. Yeah, this is more like a sweet mint, mm -hmm. um, but somewhat toothpasty. This one's more like literally mint mint, like peppermint or spearmint or mint mint. You're right. No, I agree. Wintergreen um, or something. It's it's a stronger mint flavor. Right. I do think we have seen a whole box for sale of the Junior Mints. Mm -hmm. I, I That's think, good. Yeah, I, I think it is labeled Junior Mints, so if you wanted to get a whole box of that, you could. Um, I, I love this way of getting a try it, though, because who wants to buy a whole box and you don't know if you're going to like it or not? Then either force to drink the rest of it. Or, or give, give it, it away. away. Yeah, give it away. Um, so... Out of these four, that is my favorite. The junior's my favorite, but then the other mints is equally really good. Really good too, yeah. yeah. So now we have Sugar Babies. We have Vanderlaan. Vanderlaan. Is that how you would say that? Okay. Um, and then I have Bosco. Uh, salted caramel and butterscotch. I'm sorry. The Vanderlaan was the brand. I didn't tell you the flavor. <laughs> it is vanilla caramel cream. Um, but first, we're going to try Sugar Babies, which we both really like yeah, Sugar Babies. Yeah. Sugar Babies are usually a kind of a caramel -like kind of thing, so you can see a theme here. They're all caramel. But it doesn't specifically say caramel. No, it doesn't. But I really, really like that flavor. I don't like it too, but it does have a little bit of an artificial flavor. It does. I agree. But to me, it's not its not too bad. It tastes like... No, it's right there. It tastes like a combination of vanilla and caramel. Yeah, which should be interesting for the next one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Vanilla and caramel. Um, it does have a very... I, I'm, I, the aftertaste is like a very... It's caramely, but it's an imitation. Very fake flavor caramel. It is imitation without being chemical, though. I don't... I don't it's borderline. You think it, it yeah, is? Yeah, for me, it's right there. You definitely don't need any sugar. Because no. it is sweet on its own. You haven't needed sugar for any of these, really. No, you haven't. But I'm just letting you know that one specifically yeah. comes across as really it does. sweet. I agree. This is the Banderlon Vanilla Caramel Cream. Oh, God. As sweet as the Sugar Babies was, Ugh. that is missing sweetness. Yeah, a lot. I mean, it is sweet. And if you were to try that, I think you'd be like, Tammy, you're crazy. That's sweet. It would be by itself. But since we just tried the sugar baby and it's really, really sweet, then it shows how and this one is lacking uh, well, in it, sweetness. It doesn't taste like caramel. No. Uh, really. No. Um, I get a little vanilla. Yeah, vanilla but, is really a little bit of what I didn't taste. It's mostly just a kind of a light chocolate flavor, but it's uh -huh. very, very light. Right. Yeah, that's I actually like the sugar babies, that artificial one better than that. I'm thinking I could be very wrong, but I'm thinking um, this is another one where they sell a whole box. I think you could buy a whole box of the sugar baby the or the Charleston Chew or the Junior Mounts. Uh -huh. Um, oh, the Tootsie Roll, you might be able to buy those name brands. I'm thinking I have seen individual boxes of just those. Um, but yeah, I would not get that uh, Vanderland. No, no. Um, this one's called, it's Bosco brand. And this is the salted caramel. Yeah, and they always show, anytime the Bosco is on, they show a picture of like, uh, like something over, it looks like ice cream. The picture's kind of hard to see. 
Doesn't that look like a, 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 a drizzle over ice yes, cream? It, yeah. So maybe they make sauces. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see what Kevin thinks about mm. this one. It's okay. His it's, complaint about the first one was that it was very artificial. Yeah, it's same same thing. Basically. Okay, to me that's worse. That's Bosco is more artificial to me than the sugar bites. Yeah, they're they're close. They're both kind of have the same flavor to me. I still think you do. <clears throat> it does taste like um, I wouldn't say salted, but it caramel, does taste caramel. like caramel. But very um, imitation caramel. For me, out of, so far though, the sugar baby st is still winning. Yeah. So what is this? This is flavor? the Bosco one. This is the butterscotch. Butterscotch. I love butterscotch. Hmm. That one seems uh, uh, thicker. Do you think it tastes like butterscotch? No, not at all. Well, there's a hint of it, but it's also very artificial. It's it, yeah, it tastes very artificial. To me, um, to my taste, that one tastes the most chemical like. It does. It's the it's definitely the most yeah. It, it kind of goes really artificial, somewhat artificial, right on the edge of artificial, and never drink again. <laughs> right. Um, you know what the the great thing about being able to try uh, buy a box like this is you're able to to try these brands. Because a lot of times you can get on Amazon and you can buy a whole box of one brand. From having both of those that were Bosco and both of those tasting so artificial, that tells me probably don't want to buy that brand. I, I personally would not want to buy that brand. Um, that butterscotch one, the aftertaste is almost nutty. You get almost like a nutty flavor. Well, when I first tried it, I thought, is this a little bit of maple? Yeah, is I this, could see that know, a little bit of maple. Kind you of know, it, it's just kind of iffy what it is, but mm -hmm. uh, ultimately it was just, you know, strong chemical. Right. Uh, but I think I've said it before during these videos where we've tried a bunch of these. I think these make an excellent gift, mm -hmm. especially if you know somebody that has a, 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 a Keurig, a coffee maker, um, this makes a great gift, especially if you don't know anything else about them. You have, don't have to know anything like else. Like a housewarming gift. But they have a, a cure, party or something. Anything like, yeah, because, uh, yeah, there's going to be A mystery some, gift or whatever. Right. There's going to be some stinkers in there for sure. But they're going to have some that they really, really enjoy. And they're going to be like, oh, I never knew this existed. And this is just a wonderful way mm -hmm. to try a bunch of different brands. Yeah. No, um, so out of this group, if I had to pick if one, I of had group, to pick one, I would pick babies. the Sugar Babies. Yeah. And what is so funny about this? But what, how, what order would you put them in? Um, yeah. And then this one, one, and then this one. Okay. What's funny is I've been putting these in the order every day that we've done them. So the first day, our favorite, the first day was Charleston Chew. Mm -hmm. And then the second day was the Junior Mint. And then the third day was the Sugar Babies. So all the name brand, the candy name except brands. Except for Tootsie Roll. Except for Tootsie Roll was last place on the first day. Um, so yeah, those, those name brands, Charleston Chew, Junior Mint, and Sugar Babies, they were all winners. And it, it's not because it had the name brand. It was because they actually tasted really good. Well, the Sugar Babies, I personally wouldn't buy again. But, but you had to pick one out right, of this group. But the Junior Mints, I would drink that. And the Charleston Chew, I actually like that one quite a to, bit too. So either one of those to buy good. a whole box. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so, Jamisha, thank you mm -hmm. for sending this to us. It is always fun to try these. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, Jamisha got this on sale because it was marked for Christmas. Don't let that keep you from buying something for like this. Year? Because, yeah, this is this box is good for another year. I mean, stuff like this, it doesn't expire. Always check the dates. Even on candy, when it, when it goes on sale, check the dates. Because chances are, it's good for a whole other year. And you can get it at half price or something. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.